Let's talk about helmets. Alright guys, so today what we got is a little here in my garage vlog. What I wanted to do today was um, I wanted to do just an overall uh, video uh, what helmet you should get. You know, like an all-in-one guide as to what helmet you guys should be looking out for, whether it's street or whether it's, you know, dirt bikes. I think this will be a good vlog just for all a lot of people who are looking to, you know, drop some cash on helmets because these things aren't cheap, man. And, uh, you know, you could get cheap helmets, but um, I don't recommend that. <laughs> so let's go straight into it. The one thing I think uh, would be good to start off with is what is Snell, what is DOT, and what is ECE? So basically guys, with, uh, with these helmets, uh, you have DOT on all of these. All four of these have DOT. Now what is DOT? That is uh, the Department of, of Transportation for the US. That's the acronym, acronym, that's what that means. So what does that exactly entail? So a DOT sticker means that this helmet, this type of helmet uh, by the company Bell, has been tested to meet uh, just the regulation standards by the US. So it meets all standards in that sense. Now, that's just a shortened version of it. I can go more into that. But basically, these stickers on the back are gonna represent the safety that this helmet provides you. And then you have the ECE. All right, man, so the ECE is the Economic Commission for Europe. Now, this testing is somewhat relative to Snell, but this is just gonna be uh, a different type of rating test where most, uh, most motorcycle accidents that happen in Europe are at slow speeds. I believe that's how it's in the U.S. too. It's just a different type of rating where it smells like an all-around uh, safety stamp of approval, where it's race ready. It's the highest. It's the highest echelon of helmet rating that you can get. Now, what helmets typically have these? Well, that's why I have four different brands for you guys. Four different brands that I chose that I personally own. Um, so let's let's kick it off with that. So. So let's look at the HJC, uh, this is the CLX5N, I believe. It's an older generation helmet, as you can see there's a little bit of dirt in there. This thing has seen better days, for sure. Um, the visor is aftermarket, that's why it's clear. They have one that was matching. As you can see, <laughs> you could probably assume I got in a, a few wrecks on that thing. Now we have the Fox V2 series helmet. This is. Um, a great helmet, man. I definitely recommend that. I love the look of it. It matches my whole color scheme when I go riding. Uh, this is my vlogging helmet slash, you know, MotoGP helmet, if you will. This is my Arai Signet Q. It has a nice paint job on the sides. You know, my nice American War Torn flag. And then we have the Bell Qualifier. So the Bell Qualifier. Um, this thing has a sick paint job. Yeah, people go bonkers for this thing. Uh, I love it, dude. You know, all these helmets are very comfortable. All these helmet brands are very respectable. We have HJC, we have Fox, we have Arai, and then we have Bell. If I'm not vlogging, I typically use this Bell. This thing overall is a very comfortable helmet. With the Bell, um, we have an ECE rating. All right, the EC 22.05, that's the most current one. We also have the DOT, um, you know, certification because all helmets, it's actually illegal to not have at least a DOT rating. One thing, if you guys are gonna look into buying a helmet, every single brand has different types of padding and everyone has a different shaped head. That's a given. So, one thing I definitely would recommend for you guys is go, if you wanna buy it online, because I know a lot of people I'd love to go on Amazon and just buy things that are sometimes unnecessary. But what I'm trying to get at is, you can you can get the best price by going online. But go into a shop and you know find your local motorcycle shop and actually try on all these helmets, try on all these sizes. This is a medium actually, and this fits me pretty tight. And this is a large, this is a large, and this is a large. But all of them fit me very differently because of that padding. You could always have the padding switched out too. It's not the end of the world if, if your helmet doesn't fit you perfectly. 
but it's always a good, you know, it's always a good thing to do to just go in there, check it out, see what, you know, see what you like, see what fits really well, and, uh, you know, find, find what's going to be the best bang for your buck. So next, guys, I have my Arise Signet Q, and this thing is, this thing is DOT, obviously, just like I said, it has to be, and it is Snell approved, Snell certified. It has a Snell badge on the back. Very, very big price price difference. You know, this was this was a $250 helmet. This is at one point was a $700 helmet. Now you can get the Sigma Q and ones like these for around 300 and change, 350 bucks on Amazon. But why I originally got this, I actually got this used because it didn't have any accidents and it fit me well. Basically, having this arrive, it just gives me so much peace of mind. I don't know how to say it really. And it's just, uh, it's nice to know that I'm investing in safety like that because this is your head, guys. Like I said, this is the most vital thing to protect. So I think it's good to make a solid investment like that. The number one thing I tell anyone who's new to riding, do not cheap out on the helmet. Get the jacket later, get it used, you know, or if you get a helmet used, which isn't really ideal, make sure it has no accidents on it. You know, this thing has a few nicks here and there, but it's not because somebody crashed on it. It's just because, you know, it's just, it's a couple years old now. And just go with a great company. Shoei, Shoei, however the hell you pronounce that company, that's a good company. Bell, Bell is always solid. Arai is amazing. These are all like handcrafted helmets. And they're all, you know, at least like around $500. I mean, you can find some, like I said, like the Signet Q. You can find some for around $300, $350. Um, but these are all going to be great helmets. Great helmets that are going to save your life potentially because you took the time out to make an investment in your health, you know, and your safety. So I would definitely recommend getting an awesome helmet like this. I mean, guys, come on. You got to love it. Look at that. I love this thing, man. Uh, it's really comfortable. The visor and everything, you know, it, it works great. You really do feel the quality in it. And that's that's one thing I also wanted to say for a lot of people who are looking to buy helmets, you know. I had a buddy who, who bought a really cheap helmet and he's like, oh, dude, the visors are like 15 bucks and, you know, you can, you can swap out everything on it. It's like, cool, but it's still an $80 helmet and it's only DOT approved and he eventually didn't like it at one point because it was just so uncomfortable and they just, you really get what you pay for. Let's look at the Fox V2. So this is the Fox V2. I love this color scheme. It pops, man. It is beautiful. And I really have no complaints with this thing. Um, the one thing I will say, for a large, it's a little bit tight. I have a rather large head. I can fit in a medium, like this bell. I fit in the bell fine. But for some reason, this is a tight large, but I like <laughs> I like it tight. <laughs> I don't know how to say that with a straight face. Uh, you want your helmet to be tight. You want your helmet to fit where it's kind of pushing on everything in a way where it's not hurting, but you want your helmet to be tight enough to make sure that when, if you were to, you know, God forbid, but if you were to fall off your bike or get into some type of accident, it's not gonna rattle around your head and potentially cause you more, you know, damage to yourself. You want a helmet that's gonna truly protect your head and stay on it like a second layer of skin. That's the best, best way to describe it. You want it to be like a second layer of skin that's not uncomfortable. One more thing I wanted to add for you guys is that when you get a new, helmet that's a, a brand like Arai and stuff like that. You know, Arai is going to run you, <laughs> it's going to run your checkbook very hard with uh, any type of replacement parts you want. Now, you know, you're obviously not going to do anything to your, your helmet except for the visor, really. But a new smoked visor for this thing is $50, man, on Amazon. That, <laughs> that is such a pain. But I love this thing. Um, you know, it's it's good to have the peace of mind, and I'm definitely glad I got it, guys. You know, I'm gonna keep repeating this throughout the video to the point where it gets annoying. Investing in these helmets is gonna be more comfortable for you, a, and b. It's just gonna, you know, it's for your health. You don't want to get caught up in an accident where, you know, you cheap down your helmet and your body suffers for it. I guess I'm gonna wrap that up with this video, guys. Um, if you like this video, if you like the helmet education. 
Uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. This is SoCal Moto, and um, see you guys next time.